आठ नवंबर 2016 की रात्रि को 12 बजे से In a big win for the Narendra Modi government, the Supreme Court on Monday affirmed the 2016 demonetization decision-making process was in accordance with law. The top court, in a 4 to 1 majority judgment, said the centre had the power to demonetize any series of bank notes. The Imperial Notification dated 8 November 2016 does not suffer from any flaws in the decision-making process. Court. The Imperial Notification dated 8 November 2016 satisfies the test of proportionality, and as such, cannot be struck down on the same ground. Five. The period provided for exchange of notes by the Imperial Notification dated 8 November 2016 cannot be said to be unreasonable. The Supreme Court said it's not relevant whether the objective behind the decision was achieved or not. The court said adequate consultation took place between the centre and the Reserve Bank of India before the note ban decision. Justice B. V. Nagaratna differed from the majority view and gave a dissenting judgment. She argued that demonetisation process was not in accordance with the legal process. Therefore, in my considered view, the powers of the central government being vast, the same have to be exercised only through a plenary legislation or a legislative process rather than by an executive act by the issuance of a notification in the Gazette of India. It is necessary that the parliament which consists of the representatives of the people of this country discusses the matter and thereafter approves and supports the implementation of the scheme of demonetization. The Supreme Court verdict held that the 52-day window given by the government for the exchange of demonetized notes as reasonable. While the BJP hailed the Supreme Court decision, the Congress argued the SC verdict only discussed the validity of demonetization and not the merits of the decision. Nothing was opined on by the Supreme Court today in its verdicts. Let's be very clear. Demonetization has been upheld by Honorable Supreme Court is totally misleading and brazenly wrong. Majority judgment jisne sab sahi mana us par khamosh. Aap maane ya nahi maane to aapka adhikar hai. But surely I condemn outright your comment on the minority judgment against the government. This is completely scandalous to say the least. Unfair, improper, condemnable. The Modi government in 2016 demonetized currency notes of 500 and 1,000 rupee denominations, which constituted around 86% of the cash in the banking system. While the decision led to long queues at ATMs and considerable hardship. The public at large backed the move, which was labelled as fight against black money by the BJP. The BJP had gone on to win elections in Uttar Pradesh, held a few months after note ban, with a landslide majority. The Supreme Court has categorically held that it is not relevant as to whether or not the objective is achieved. But what is important is that there is a reasonable nexus between the objective and anything that is sought to be achieved. Even the dissenting judge, Justice B. V. Nagaratna, has said that there is no doubt about the fact that demonetization as an idea was well intentioned. What remains to be seen, however, is whether this judgment will finally bring to an end the political squabble over the 2016 controversial decision. Bitshishti Ocha in New Delhi. This is Nalini Sharma for India Today.